Austin. Austin is yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. I heard Austin's where it's at, man. Bro, Austin's crazy. I'm not from there. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. We just moved down there like in August. Last year, um, what are you getting done today? I want to do like a mid to low skin taper, no C cup, and okay. then like a I don't know, it's weird on top, man. If you want to start it with like a two with the green, okay, and just see where it goes from there, two with the green, and then like a mid to you said no C cup, right? Yeah, no C cup, but just still lower though, you know what I mean? I want to try to, yeah, you got the wave, yeah, yeah. yeah. YouTube, what is going on? Thank you guys for checking out another one of my tutorials. If you hear a little bit of echo, it's because I got a new setup. I'm in a new office. So I'm trying to get the soundproofing going. But anyways, um, we're combing his hair out. He's a waver. This is definitely in an intimidating cut. I actually thought I did a number three with the grain, but I actually did a number two open. I started off with a two open. He told me to do a two close, but I was a little... You know, this is my first time cutting his hair and he's got a wedding. He's got a wedding, you know what I mean? So I had a, I, I definitely had to be careful around the crown, around his hairline. And I just wanted to give him um, the best possible haircut that I can give him on the first try, especially considering the situation. So I'm using my Babyliss FX's, using a number two, it's open, and then I'll close it whenever I do feel comfortable. Especially around like the hairline, I definitely want to be careful. He kind of warned me, he talked about it. It was definitely a concern of his. Um, and so I wanted to make sure he knew I was gonna pay special attention to anywhere that he had some concerns, just to make him feel comfortable. And honestly, I could relate with, with, the, with the light corners and the light hairline, like I could relate to it. Anytime I get somebody who has a interesting hairline or a challenging hairline, I just show them mine and they would be like, all right, yeah, you get it. <laughs> so especially here and around the vertical bar, you definitely want to be careful because it's not as full everywhere else. So I'm going with a number three against the grain um, because I know a number three typically will leave the hair dark. And then here in the back, as we go up past the occipital bone, I went with a number four just because I could see the hair curling up a bunch. And look at his neck taper. That is an intimidating neck taper in my opinion because it grows so many different directions. Guys, I pulled out the Babeless Low Pro Clippers. I don't think these come out till next year. And I could tell you these probably are not in its final form, but so far, Babeless is doing a great job. And if you're interested in being somebody who tests products, I'm gonna keep it real with you. You gotta go to hair shows, you gotta shake hands, you know, if you if you had a company and you were you were you know in charge of testing products, I mean, how how are you gonna choose who's gonna test your products if you don't know them? If I don't know you, you'll never be able to test products. It's, it doesn't doesn't just happen randomly, guys. That's my biggest um, advice when it comes to that. Now there are also some companies that will um, put it post it on their website. Um, but for the most part, you go to shows, shake hands, um, people will probably, you probably have a better shot at being able to test products. So if you notice, I did taper behind the ear with a number four and then a number three. I'm being careful. I didn't want to go lower and uh, mess up his cut. So now we're doing our initial guideline. And I got to tell you, um, this is one of the toughest tapers to do in my opinion, not just because of the hair texture and the challenges, but also because it's really a compressed taper. When somebody says they want a mid taper with no C cup or a low taper with no C cup, that means they don't want you to go too high with the clippers. Uh, and a lot of waivers will ask that because they want to keep as much of the, those wave patterns as possible. And so there's you really have to compress each of your guidelines. So when you go with the blade open, you can't go up too high and have like an inch long section, right? Inch, inch high section, it's gotta be like a half inch or lower. So I did the blade open about a half inch. I did the one open about a half inch. And then I started to fade down because it, it, I'm trying to keep 
again from cutting too high with it and so a lot of this is going to be using corners a lot of it's going to be stretching the scalp like i'm doing here so that i have more space to work with if you don't stretch the scalp you have less space to work with and then on this side his hair is growing to the left downwards and so i'm going up to the right upwards with my clippers so i can make sure i'm going against the grain i don't know about you guys but this is definitely this is definitely um something you got to it's okay to take your time on this cut especially when it's your first time what I decided to do here above the ear because I like it to blend above the ear is do some clipper over comb. Um, just, just kind. Of, I'm not trying to take out a bunch, bunch of bulk, but what I didn't want, I didn't want to look like it doesn't blend well above the ear. And when the hair growth pattern is like this, sometimes it can look unfinished the closer you get to the ear. So my guy that's sitting in my chair, man, um, he's a barber. And um, he was just asking a lot of questions when it came to business, when it came to like entrepreneurship and just um, building clientele and cutting hair. And um, it was just a pleasure having that conversation with him, man. I think that's one of the cool things about having, you know, people come in and get a haircut. A lot of them, a lot of the guys that come in are barbers and, um, you know, there's, there's, there's a mutual benefit there, I feel like. All right, so we're using the low pros with the one open and then one closed. Now the half guard, closing it little by little. Remember, we only have a little bit of room to work with because we don't want to end up with a, a regular mid, like we, we want a mid taper, but we don't want to take out the C cup, seeing as he didn't want a C cup. And, and by taking out that C cup, end up with a uh, with your typical high fade. I'm trying to keep it as low as possible while still erasing that C cup. Because that's the look he's going for. And at this point, you can see I'm going back and forth with the one and the half guard. I'm pretty much just trying to spread out this section a little bit more um, without going above uh, where I left off with that one and a half guard. I'm going to do the same way. And you'll notice that I kind of hop back and forth because when you only have so much room, room to play with, you if you stay in the same spot and you try to spread it out um, and nothing's happening, sometimes it's good to move on and then come back. Cause then you might make a mistake where you're over detailing you're doing too much and once you m mess up you can't come back so now we're going going ahead and we're doing um this crazy back taper it grows to the left inwards in the middle and then all kinds of directions on the outside of the neck area and for me what i decided to do man was let's just get this area as low as possible um because if you were to try to keep this a low taper, good luck. Good luck. Um, so we went ahead and, and did that whole crazy area with like the blade open. Um, and then right above that, we're gonna go with the two closed, one and a half guard, as you can see here. And I'm gonna focus more in the darker areas than the light areas. These light areas are created by splits in the hair growth pattern you'll be able to see right through those splits to the scalp. And so I want to create the illusion that it's all one length by focusing on the dark areas. This is, I don't like, sometimes y'all be in the comments talking about, nah, that's easy. Nah, that wasn't that. You always say everything easy. No, I just, what's the point of just talking about the, the easy parts of a haircut? The lineup on him that's in the back, in the neck taper, that's the easy part. Um, there's no learning there right but the lineup at his vertical bar and his hairline that's not going to be easy so i'm going to talk about that and the challenge is there i'm not just going to talk about the easy stuff all right so i'm using my uh 
Babyliss Low Pro Trimmers and I did my vertical bar keeping it as natural as possible and I'm just kind of envisioning a squared line here. I'm Notice I did my corners and then I did the middle of his hairline and then I walked my corner over to the middle. All right, I'm gonna do that on both sides. And these are not gonna come with that little green part um, where the blade is. I've actually swapped the blades on these. I've been messing with these trimmers, trying to make them hit as, as good as possible. And I, I love them. All right, I'm using the Gamma shavers here. And notice I use my shaver last because from my perspective, if I use my shaver first, and I gotta go with, with my trimmer and raise that initial guideline more because I cut it too close with the shaver. That's gonna mess up the entire, the whole thing. So I didn't wanna take that risk and then I just used the corners to touch it up towards the end. Now we're using the enhancements and you can see I like to kinda go natural with it. You can still see a difference in, you can see that it's enhanced. So I'm gonna top it off. I'm gonna take a page from Get Beam's book and I'm gonna top it off with some um, hair fibers to give it that fuller look. You didn't see that part, but that's what I did here to give it a fuller look. So I topped the color enhancement, you can get it at tune45.com, um, with the compressor that you can get at tune45.com, the, the Beam Team XL, with some hair fibers, and now we're getting that vertical bar and that lineup dumb clean and getting prepared for that wedding. Congratulations to my guy, man. Guys, this is the before, look at the before, this is the before. If that ain't intimidating, I don't know what is. And that's the after. Guys, let me know in the comments what you thought about the cut. I want you to know um, I'm gonna stick to his tutorials and unboxings on this channel. If you wanna see more of the behind the scenes stuff with me, if you rock with me, go to the new channel, Life of Basio. Uh, it used to be Basio Builds Wealth. Now I'm gonna do all my vlogging and stuff that's more entrepreneurship and stuff on Life of Basio. So link will be in the description for that. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.